Ready? Hi, we're showing you today how to set up the Hologic Myasure scope as a surgical tech. So we'll go through the different parts first. We have your Myasure scope. It has a 20 on there, so 20 French. We have your inflow up top and the arrow points down so you know it's inflow. And then your stock, which you will hook up a camera to, and then your light post. This is a zero degree scope. No, there's no bend to the tip. Then we have your outflow sheet. This is just for diagnostic purposes. And once they are ready for the Myasure Morselator, they will take this out. And it has your outflow to it. And you can tell because there's an arrow going down. Then you have your light cord, your light post that goes to your scope, and then you have two metal caps and two white gaskets that come separately in a Myasure single use seal set. And you can see on here, it shows you how to put them in. The bubble part of the seal Go, points distally towards the end of the scope and then the metal cap covers that. So I will show you how to do that. Let's start with the scope itself. You'll take your little white seal, the bubble part will point down towards the bottom of the scope and you will put your metal cap, you'll twist that on. You want to make sure you have the right light cord adapter for your light cord, and that will twist onto the light post. And we can just put on our light cord. You want to make sure the light cord adapter comes off of the scope for processing and does not come back up with it on. So for our outflow sheath, we will do the same thing with the white seal bubble part points to the end of the scope and you'll screw on the metal cap. Okay, now you will put your outflow sheath through the Myasure scope. There, that is what it looks like. And once they're ready for the Myasure, again, you will take out the outflow sheath and put your Myasure device through the hole. So right now, if your open and closed posts are pointing upward, your channel is open. So we can close our channel on both and hook up our inflow and outflow tubings. In our other video, we showed you what the tubings looked like. Our outflow tubing again is a Y tubing. So your two yellow portions, the one with the twist, that will go to your outflow sheath and the yellow part yellow urine you want to think drape so this will go to your drape this will go to your outflow sheet and since it's just demonstration we'll just do that now put that on your drape this will hook up to your outflow sheet it'll just twist on And then your long tail that has a white end will hook up to your low suction canister on your Aqualex. Now for your inflow, we already showed you in the last video how to prime your Aqualex and we primed in the bucket just so we will not make a mess. So, the, the end with the blue twisty, that is your inflow. 
you can hook that up and you will be set to go. So at this point, the surgical tech can either prime in a bucket or hand it to the surgeon for the surgeon to prime in the drape. And we can prime in the drape. We're gonna pull our Aqualux close. Again, for demonstration purposes, we have to be creative. Everything's off. So your circulator will press. So there will be two beeps. Your circulator will press the prime button. It'll beep once. And then you will wait for about two minutes it takes. It primes about 100 cc's. It'll beep again. And then you can turn off your inflow and be ready to go. Since we already primed in the last video, it won't let us prime again. So we'll just show you. Turn on your inflow. Have your circulator press resume. And as you see, it'll come out. So outflow, you can turn on if you'd like. And it will go to your, it will go to, it will be outflow tubing to your drape as well. And that is how you put together your MyShore scope. Thanks for watching.